Welcome to African Minds. On Fridays, we present to you one of the core issues debated in Africa, looking at it from all angles and trying to understand where everyone is coming from. Is poverty a choice? This topic has been debated all over the world for many years. On one hand, there are those who think poverty is a choice since everyone has control over what happens in their lives, while another group thinks people don't choose to be poor and are simply victims of society. Now let's advance the arguments. First, for those who think poverty is a choice. The first point people who think this way are quick to make is that they are not saying people choose to be born poor. Of course, there are people who are born into poor families under the most horrendous circumstances, and they have no control of the situation they are born into. The point they like to make instead is that mindset is everything. A person or family may not have chosen to be born into poverty, but they have accepted their situation and have chosen to remain there. Once you have this mentality, you may not be able to identify opportunities which come your way. So, it is not that people born into poverty don't have the ability to improve their situation in any way. What is missing is the will. Your lifestyle is your choice. This is why it is not uncommon to find an income disparity between siblings born into the same poor family. One could make use of few opportunities that come their way as they are growing up, whilst the other might choose another path, a path of crime and addiction. Odds are, one will be at a better place in the future. And there's no other way to explain this than one person making better choices than the other. There are so many success stories in the world of people who started from nothing and worked their way to the top. You'll find such people in not just first world countries, but all other countries all over the world. These are the people who didn't accept their poverty and certainly didn't make excuses for their state. They didn't spend their mornings blaming their parents and their evenings blaming oppressors. They created opportunities for themselves. They knew they had the ability to improve their lives, even if it was by a very small margin at a time. They created better lives for themselves, which had ripple effects on society as a whole. Now, for those who argue poverty is not a choice. Poverty is a vicious cycle. It begins at childbirth and gets transferred from one generation to the next. People who believe poverty is not a choice constantly make the point that the situation you're born into is a big indicator of life success. And since you don't choose this, it can't be said that your poverty is a choice. If you grow up in a community without portable water and proper health care, chances are you won't even live long enough to make it in life. That's just how society is structured. Some people are set up to fail. Opportunity is everything. People who tend to make it have better opportunities than people who don't. It's easy to call someone lazy. But maybe if they had the same opportunities as you, they would have been in a better situation. People are quick to say, People who remain in poverty simply don't make use of the opportunities that come their way. Well, it turns out even your perspective is affected by poverty. Someone who's had a proper education, can read and is exposed to the latest technology will certainly be better at identifying opportunities when they come. Several studies have shown that intelligence is greatly affected by nutrition. Healthy nutrition breeds intelligent people. Intelligent people make better choices. So when you hear poor people say, that's the only way I know how, they totally mean it. And this keeps them in poverty. There are great points on both sides, which is exactly why it is so polarizing. What do you think? Is poverty a choice? Click on the top right corner to vote. 
results will be published in subsequent videos. Let us know what you think in the comments section. Be sure to subscribe to African Minds for more of such content. Thank you.